Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more War Tales. So, we are just outside court here. We're going to go back in. I'm going to go up to the smith, and we're going to see if we can maybe make some better equipment for ourselves. Have a quick look at what they're selling. There were two of us working here until Count Lahar enlisted my cousin in his army. I haven't heard from Clay since. We've actually got some stuff we could sell here, like these angler's rags. Rusty Shiv. I'm going to sell the hammer, the shield. Uh, let's go by type again. I'm going to keep that for now. We can sell the pin, uh, the bird whistle, statuette brush. I'll keep the ball just in case that comes in. Is this mm, to say trinket? Or maybe we'll sell that. Uh, that's all components and stuff. So, oh no, these can be sold. Yeah, so where are we on money now? 534, that's, that's not too bad. But uh, let's see what we can sort of craft for ourselves now at the forge. So rags, although they don't sound too exciting, are actually going to be better than the sort of armor that our guys are using. Um, okay, I can do four, four of these. Magnus is probably already wearing better armor, so that's okay. Um, and a shield as well. Well, this, the armor I think is the main thing, so let's make some of these. So here again, it's a little mini game, you've got to kind of hit the things at just the right time. Uh, just as it flashes. There we go. I think two's okay. I think we get a higher quality one with that. Yeah. Uh, let's do another one. Missed that one. Okay, still a high, nice, high quality one. That's good. Uh, we'll probably get get past these rags fairly quickly, but at the moment we've hardly we're hardly wearing armor. So, damn. Sometimes I preempt it, and it doesn't work very well. It wasn't too bad. Uh, we'll do one more. There we go. Nice. We can actually do a targe as well, so... I'm trying to think of how many shield bearers. I've probably got one more person using a shield, so let's let's just do one of these. I'm not counting Magnus, who's already got sort of a better one that we found. There we go. Um, I'm going to leave the rest for now. Um, but I think if we go into the knowledge points under blacksmith, I think he said we can we can learn some blueprints now. So what could we learn? Oh, this is different. It used to be um, uh, you learn like a weapon set at different stages of quality, whereas this you learn a few things. Iron studded mace, axe, falchion, two handed stuff. Ah, oh, cool. That's kind of, yeah, that's kind of just simplified the uh, the blacksmith stuff a bit. Maybe because they've got higher tier, even higher tier stuff further down. Um, but that's cool. We don't have any knowledge points just at the moment. So let's exit. Let's get to camp. We'll equip all this new stuff we've got. Uh, t oh, we've got a new spearman as well, and a new uh, warrior, which is cool. But let's start, sort of start with our level 2s, getting these in slightly better gear. So that's armor plus 8, and the ones we've made are plus 12 and plus 11, I think. So we'll do... Equip. Uh, okay, we'll do the shield as well. So she's a bit tankier already, that's good. Um... So Boring's an archer. I don't necessarily need to do him. Same with Rogar. I mean, I like Rogar, so I suppose we should give him the rags at least. Yeah, there you go. Um, so anyway, we've got two more sets. So we've got uh, Mark, who could probably do with some. What's he wearing at the moment? Farmer's rags. Yeah, this is going to be a lot better. Uh... 
Nigel's going to be getting up close and personal with stuff, so let's do that. What's he using? Old two-handed axe. Yeah, these are all pretty crap. So we'll look to replace these as soon as possible, I think. Just wondering if I could unequip un the stuff he's got. It doesn't look like it, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but let's uh, let's go back and we'll sell all the stuff we've just uh, gotten rid of. Oh, talk to the blacksmith there first. Two of us yeah, I know. Here until Count Lahart enlisted my cousin in his army. I haven't heard from Clay since. It's all looking good. I leave. We've got a quest, but as it's as I've reloaded from scratch, I might just pop back to the inn and just see if anything is refreshed there, possibly. Might she be looking for work? I'll roll. I think it has. These were all hard before, I think. Um, but we'll just do this easy one. I think we actually know where they are, so let's uh, let's go do that. Let's go do that. What are we doing for food? Actually, I might stop off at. I might um. Go to the marketplace and just get some food because we've only got a couple of days' worth of supplies now. Uh, to walk. My meat is quite pungent, I admit. Stinky meat. I can assure you, it is still perfectly edible. Salt becomes very valuable, actually. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy. Any time I see salt, I'm gonna buy it. Uh, let's buy his pork as well. The war drags on. And Lahart and Vanalis requisition anything they come across. I barely I'll have buy all this stuff. We spend a lot of our money on supplies now, but we got quite, we got almost a week's worth, which is good. So don't mind that. Yeah, this is a different. This is definitely a different church. Um, see if our apothecary could uh, apotheca, whatever his name is, could uh, craft some medicines. Now he can. That's good. Let's do three of those then. I think we're done. So let's uh, let's actually leave this time. Oh, there's a blacksmith caravan here. You can sometimes buy decent equipment off them. They've gone. They might come back out. Here they come. Anything to declare? Oh, that's the soldiers. I don't want to them. I want to do the little trade caravan. Here we go. What's he got? He's got ooh level two axe. That could be pretty good. And a level two tracker's breastplate. So that's less movement, but both could be pretty good actually. I think we'll take those. I tend to buy. I don't. I don't steal and stuff from them. But uh, the only issue with that is that we need. We probably need Nigel to move up a level. I think he can actually equip this. That's good. I might, I might go back and sell that axe to... Actually, we can sell it here. There were two of us working here until Count Lahart enlisted my cousin in his army. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm still me. I... I <laughs> Okay, let's depart. So we're going to go south. We're going to go and do this uh, mission that we took. And we'll be slightly distracted by resources and stuff that we find. Got some wood. I think we've checked that out already. We could maybe cut through the woods. There might be there might be something to discover in there. It's probably going to be boars or wolves or something, but that's good for. Um, getting meat and also some stuff we can sell. I think that that's a wolf pack that would be suitable level for us. We've ambushed them. Four wolves, level two. Okay, that should be all right. And that's yeah, the surprise. So we're going to be doing more damage to them, I, I would think. 
Okay, so there's four of them. They're all in a line there. We could attack them from sort of both sides. Tina the spin. Well, you don't need to be all the way back there. Alright, let's go with Nigel now with his, his fancy new axe. Might be able to get both of these, potentially. <laughs> Got a trap, of course. <clears throat> mm, can't quite. Yeah, you can only... Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, he's a bit smaller than that. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, this one's going to act next, so let's... Um, Get them stuck with us. There we go. Which one's next? The one up there. Uh, Magnus can actually get up there. I think I'm just going to put extra damage on. Oops. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Sort of doesn't detect that I've clicked that and then I click on the enemy and I get their stats instead. Rogar, can you... Can't quite get to the, the back. That's okay. It might be enough to kill this wolf anyway. Should be. Now if you have rope in your inventory, what you can do is when they're down to a, a low HP like this is you can attempt to capture them and... Um, eventually, sort of bring them onto your side as part of your group, which is which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't have any rope at the moment, though. I could craft some, in, in fairness, probably. Uh, yeah, so with spearmen, they they attack from a little bit further out. See, so damage is doubled if done from a distance, and and this just count, this counts as a distance, so. Not looking good for the wolves. Uh, sure, we could do a bow attack. There we go. Start to do some decent damage now. Finish up with Nigel as well. There we go, we've got some teeth, they're good. You can trade those with the trackers. I mean, you can also um, sell them. But we've got some meat, some skins, these carcasses. We can't do a lot with those yet, but we, we can sort of learn to do more with them. If the tinker is able to, to do that. Let me just. Um, Level a couple of people up. Freya, she's level three now. So how is she going to get valor points? Uh, actually, no, this is special ability. Oh no, this. If they are engaged in combat, you gain a valor point. I I don't know if those are connected. Like if you have to use deflection and be engaged in combat or whether just being in combat will do it which seems like it would activate a lot of the time probably not that one every time this unit engages in combat you gain one well, I think that that's fairly simple so we'll, we'll go with that one double movement could be good we don't need to sort of expand on that in any way and then we've got Magnus also level 3 uh, similar setup for him I think we'll go with the, the engagement one um, he has got pretty high movement already. I would quite like to boost strength, so maybe I'll go career plans. And we'll add one to that for 10 influence. There we go. Very nice. Now, he can wear heavy armor, can't he? I wonder whether it's worth... Because he's got quite high movement anyway, whether it's worth putting this on him. And then putting this on... Uh, Axe guy, Nigel. 
I think, yeah, I'm going to put that on him. And Nigel. He's got the rags on, but we can give him something a bit better than that. Or is it better? It is a little bit. Oh, we cannot equip light armor. Well, light armor's good, because um, Zaborin can wear that instead of his farmer's rags. Cannot equip light armor. Uh, okay. I'm not quite sure why. That's an interesting one. What about Rogar? He can. So this is this is better movement actually. So yeah, we'll go with that. And maybe Tina, if we put the put the rags on you. Like that. Now let's look at this tinker table because we can we can do maybe do some stuff here now. Uh, I would quite like to build all of well all of these things, but a cooking pot would be good. We need one more iron ore. Hitching post not so essential. Tent would be good. Need more leather, more rope. We can actually make the rope. I might just do that now. Um, one more leather. Okay, well, we'll save up for these things, especially the cooking pot. We'll be able to um, do better camp meals and stuff. Um, but that's okay. So Prano Village, have we been there? I don't think we have. Let's have a look, let's pop in on them. Oh dear. She was an elderly woman. Her shoulder has been carefully carved out, but from the looks of it, she starved to death. Okay, what about this dude? This man is old. Part of the flesh in his thighs has been carved out. Are these cannibals? This wretched lout tried to hide his condition. We never noticed. He could have been contaminated weeks ago. To think of all those who were put at risk. Conditions. So some kind of disease? Be careful, mercenaries. A plague-ridden man is at large in the area. Look at what he has done to his own parents. Oh. Oh, okay. So, yes. Yeah, so, so there, is, there is like sort of a plague that's going on in the background. We haven't really heard about it until now. But, um, yeah. I'm gathering okay. volunteers as we speak to track him down and finish him off. If you find him before we do, don't spare him. The villagers will be most grateful for your help. Okay. Meanwhile, I've got anything I can loot. Oh, we've got some hemp. Uh, I don't think they have a wood chopping block. Don't really have much else here, to be honest. Okay. Oh, there's some iron ore over there. Let's go. Let's go do that. We got our cooking pot now. Uh, we'll be camping soon anyway, so we'll just we'll just wait until we if we have to do that. And then we'll we'll make stuff. Oh, we got some wood. That's where we're going, I think. Yeah, I think we I think we saw that from a distance. Let's just try and sort of clear this fog of war a little bit. Okay. We're gonna be yeah. Here we go. We're gonna camp. So let's start off by making the cooking pot. Mark has become a tinker apprentice. Can learn blueprints, create and improve apprentice camping gear. That's good. Um, so it's the cooking pot in here, I think, isn't it? So let's pop that. And oh, no, we'll be able to move it around. New recipes, new profession. Okay, so yeah. Move over the cook sort of over to this side, perhaps. So who's going to be our cook? Who doesn't have a profession yet? Mainly uh, Tina, isn't it? Okay, Tina, you're you're cook now. Okay, maybe we have to. In oh, Tina's a tinkerer. We don't need a tinkerer. Can I get to change profession? 
uh, cook. You're the cook now. Can make 12 bread. Uh, yeah, I mean, why not? That's good. Yeah, we'll put it there. So now, uh, signed cook reduces the troops' daily food consumption by two. So that's good. Uh, so that's all we can do for now. I guess we'll rest. Um, use some of this bread we've just made. Put a, put a beer in for the odd one. Eight more. Uh, we'll get rid of the fish. And one of those, I suppose. Actually, no, because we can turn that into a more nourishing meal at some point. Let's do one of those. Uh, oh, we're still four short. There we go. They still don't need to be paid. We're over a week in. They haven't asked to be paid yet. That's interesting. There we go. So we've got two tools. Everyone's happy. Companions decide to the campfire. Plus one food. Okay. We've gained 25 influence. That's nice. Ah, so Mark's got something to say. Uh, talk. These boors don't know the sharp end of a sword from the blunt one. How can I trust them if I barely make it out of each fight alive? So we got some choices. Sulk. He will gain the sulky status. After a rest, the valor points earned by the troop are reduced by two. Okay. Endure. Uh, suggested by Nigel. Suggested by Nigel. Um, he'll get two valor points, but we'll lose some happiness and get 20% fatigue. Okay. Mm. Compensate. Requires 10 gold. Mark. Okay. He'll get the risk bonus trait. Wages increased by 30%. <sighs> I think this will just disappear the next time we rest. I'm, I'll take this one. Whereas the 30% wages, that'll just apply forever, won't it? Okay, 87 to pay in the next rest, so we've got just enough. Well, yeah. We've got enough. Dark Mist Tower. Have we been here? I think we may have been. Yeah. Trying to push back the fog of war a little bit. Okay, um, I am going to save. I don't. Th is there a quick save? I don't think there is. Um, just in case it's more than we can do. Uh, dip base. Right, let's see what we got here. Level two, five of them. Uh, yeah, okay, it should be alright. Doesn't look like there's a leader unit. So we've got the archer going first. We've got Hoodlum. Three of them. And another. Where's the other archer? Oh, he's all the way. He's the way downtown. Okay. So who are we going to work with first? It'd be nice to get the poacher kind of squared away. So let's move Freyr in, just give a, take a swing at him. Is this Freyr? No, this is Mark. Oh, okay. it, does, it doesn't really matter. Uh, does this guy have guard? He doesn't, but I think we'll do the destabilizing strike anyway. A bit of extra damage. There we go. Uh, so who out of them is acting next? Is this Hoodlum? So, yeah, maybe we'll get Freya up. And uh, we'll attack from this side. Try a weakening blow. Oh, wow, nice crit. Do you want 
damage. This one might kick in then. Doesn't quite. Okay. Um, that'll do. Oh, we have another one. Let's uh, let's see if we can kill him before he acts. Hey. Now, if he can, he can't actually get to an ally. Now, let's move him over this way. Okay, now we've got Rogar, but I might come in with um, maybe Tina first. I would have to engage. So we'll be doing less damage with the pig sticker. Oh, didn't engage. It didn't even engage. I forgot that it pushed. Never mind. In that case, um, let's move Magnus round, and we'll we do it from here. We'll give Rogar an easy backstab. Don't think we need the frenzy. Um, let's just come and do a backstab. So he's got one HP and we've poisoned him, so I think he'll probably he'll probably die. Right, yeah, let's leave him there. Should get a valor point. There we go. Nigel, can he get to that archer? Not quite. Might be able to hit him though. Again, not quite. Don't think we need to do that. There he goes. Shame that didn't tick before before his go. Okay, let's uh, let's get this archer done. That's a push as well, so he's not going to engage. Was he? No. Oh, he is. Yeah, he is. Okay. Uh, I think Rogar will be able to deal with this one. Let's go and help out with this one. We'll do one of these. these so these yellow Valor points, they, they only apply to this battle. These sort of more orange-colored ones, they're, they, they're the ones we generate from resting, and they sort of persist between encounters. So we might as well use the yellow ones, because they... They won't last after this encounter. But I'll try and keep the other ones. Uh, they, okay, they are acting next, so maybe we'll get Rogar around. Might crit. Doesn't, but... I don't know if the poison will kill. It won't. Never mind. I mean, he could do this. I don't really want to use the, t the extra Valor point, though, so we'll just... I suppose we got this. That's not right. It's a non-issue. Oh, I haven't seen that finisher before. <laughs> That's brutal. Okay, we've got galvanized now. Um, he's not going to be needed, but I guess we'll bring him around this way just just because. All right. So, yes. Yeah, okay. So boring. Oh, nice crit. Um, all right, we'll do Tina. She's level one still, I think. It'd be nice to level her up with a bit more XP. So now we've got these guys over here. Uh, oh, are they are they both gone? Okay, so it's just Freya. We'll just we'll just end the turn. Alright, well this should be fairly straightforward. Uh, we've got Nigel or Magnus, so let's let's help Nigel level up a bit. Oh, okay, hang on. Let's just move Magnus out of the way. And then get the kill with uh, Nigel. Got other armor, same as the other one, which is better than our rags, that's good. Uh, we'll just repair. 
A little bit low on the old raw materials, it must be said. I'll loot all that. So Boring has levelled. Just done the mission. Might be some nice stuff here. I like that they've added the hemp to making it, making the ropes. Um, because that wasn't in the early access, as far as I know. At least not the version I played, I don't think. So, so yeah. What have we got here? Some fabric, some fish oil, very nice. Uh, slightly Said slightly ironically. Um, we could try and break into here. Wait a minute, go back. So we've got two thieves as well. Thieves as well. Nigel, you don't have to be a thief. Rogar's going to be our thief. Oh, okay. That's simple. Reduces amount of suspicion gain from all sources. Oh, what do we have here? Heavy armor. Ooh, that's quite nice actually. We got a collar. Don't have anything to put that on just yet. And a military report giving a, a plus one knowledge point. Oh, very nice. Okay. Well, let's deal with these things now. So we're gonna get the knowledge points. We've got two of those to spend now. Um, so boring needs to level. Okay, so this is his archetype. Hunter. Light armor, recoil shot. Knockback, slow down. Maybe. So the Beastmaster one. All allied animals next to the target attack them with an attack of opportunity. An attack that deals 100% of the... Uh, I'm tempted towards this one simply because I don't know if this is the only class that can sort of tame beasts to use them in combat. You can tame them and use them in combat, but they, they, they act on their own. Whereas if you have, I think maybe a Beastmaster, he, you can actually control them. It's this one. It's this level, level 5. It's beast Mastery. Animals can be controlled in combat. So I don't need to take this one. Infantryman, uh, barrage, target a specific area, performs an attack of opportunity against the first three. Oh no, I like this one. This is this is basically Overwatch. This is the best one. We're going to take that definitely. Constitution not that important for a ranged unit. I would like more dexterity as the thing, but I guess I might do career plans into critical hit. Nice if he's doing more crits. Okay. Uh, in terms of equipment, can he? He can equip that now. That's good. So yeah, so he's got it. That add a bit of movement as well. That's nice. In terms of the heavy armor, I know Magnus can definitely equip heavy armor. He's already got some, in fact. This is better. So let's put him in that. Nigel probably can't yet. Uh, Freya might. Yep. Let's put her in heavier armor then. We've got some better rags to give to someone who, who might want them. Uh, she's got pretty good ones already. Okay, let's trade up for Mark. So again, we've, we've pretty much moved past the need for the rags now. We're just finding better stuff anyway, I think. That's the same. So, so yeah, but that's fine. We'll just we'll just sell them. Okay, so knowledge points now. I've got two. So was it in the blacksmith's stuff then? A mace, axe, and a falchion. Two-handed hammer, two-handed axe, great falchion. Longbow, dagger, spear. They'd all be good. They would all be good, actually. I mean, I'm sure these are probably all very good. Not those. I already know those, anyway. Um, or rather, I would have to build 
the early versions of those. I'm leaning towards these to get a better bow, dagger, and spear, which will get used by our people. So we'll do that for now. Okay, that's fine. Um, in the workshop, I don't think there's anything here that we can really add at this point. Oh. So what have I got at the moment? Oh, it's a better version of the cooking pot and probably the workshop as well. You can dismantle low value weapons, armor and accessories to gain up to one raw material. Oh, that's pretty good. What do I need? I could actually build it as well. Maybe I'll do that. All right. Oh. <laughs> I don't have the iron ore. I thought I said I did, never mind. Cool. Okay, we don't need to rest right just yet, but that, that's, that's all good stuff. I think we'll probably go back and get the bounty as well. We have explored this area previously. Um, although it's getting late, maybe... Oh, the empty trough's up there. It'll probably be day and morning again before we get there. We'll have to rest. So I think maybe we'll go and get paid at Courtier. I do want to do. I would do want to go back to that fishing hut at night, though, and see the see if we can see the black steed. I think that sounds cool. I think I have done that in the early access. I can't quite remember. Oh, what have we got? Level two deserters. That's fine. XP pinatas. Uh, so where are they? Henchman, Raider. Ah, these guys will be alright. Who's down here? Mark, Nigel. I guess it's probably alright just to start him in a bit of mud. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, Frey is out in the limb a bit. Uh, that's probably fine. Who are we going to go with first? Maybe Nigel, he's got a new axe now. Actually, uh, this henchman's acting first, so let's actually get Magnus up. I'll do it down here. Has he got guard? He does, 11%. So let's do the destabilizing strike. A slice. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's get him for a backstab then. We can try the frenzy. It's going to use all our valor points, but I mean, they're going to get you. We're going to rest soon. Not bad. We've actually got a basic attack now. Can finish him off. Still got a bit of movement. Uh all it's worth. But we act again. Okay, who's next? This guy. Yeah, let's get Nigel up. I don't think he'll be able to hit both. I'll position him. If I position him, say, here, I'll see if, see if he can hit both. He can hit that one. What if I just come forward a tile? Aha! There we go. No engagement, but this guy will probably attack him anyway. This one's acting next. Let's move Mark up. Nice crit. Uh, oh, they still have to act, so presumably this one will be after that as well. We could... Come out of the mud a bit. There we go. We've got Tina. 
So what we'll do, we'll move her up to there. And impale. It won't get the knockback because he's he's in the way. Okay, we've got a... Alright, so let... Oh, we still got one more to act in this round. Freya, let's move you up. Uh, all right, we'll use that for an extra six. Really need some better weapons. Oh, they're doing a delayed one as well. Okay. Who's acting first? It will be this one. So let's deal with this guy first. So we can move uh, Nigel out of the way. Let me get an extra valor point by moving next to Tina. How can we got an extra attack? something. Um, that's okay. I think maybe if we... I can I can kill this one and then move. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> they've added some cool finishing moves. I don't know. If they might have added them in the early access just off, after the point where I was playing them. But that's pretty cool. So let's move them out of the way. Uh, so now we got this one. So let's get Rogar up. The crit would be nice. Not quite. Big attack, though. Uh, I mean, Freya can probably do this. There she goes. I don't think she'll be needed, but we may as well use the movement. Yeah, you'll definitely get to do that. <laughs> uh, so we got the temporary valor points. Let's get rid of this, rid of that, and let's cleave. Leave her alone. Might be able to. No, can't quite. All right, well, this isn't going to be too challenging. I don't know if you get the the XP and the the items if you let them run away. So I tend not to to do to do that. Uh, move him up here. He's not engaged. That's fine. Uh, let's just move her back so she just does a bit more damage. And that's probably good enough. It is. What do we get? A chip attack. So that's actually not as good as the one he's using now, is it? Oh, it was a one-handed axe, mind. But still. We might break that down later for some more raw materials, of which we're running out. No levels. Let's carry on up to... back to Courtier. Oh, got something here. Wood. Always nice. Something over there as well. Oh. All right. Let's have a look at these ones. I'm not sure if the raw material stuff regenerates. It might do. Or just appears at certain points, maybe. So we'll be going back to court here before we need to rest again. I know the mines regenerate resources. I'm not quite sure how long that takes. But let's get our money in first. Might she be looking for work? Here is your reward. Very nice. Got anything else for me? Eh. This is reason with them. I 
that'd be alright. We could take that. It's in an area we haven't been to yet, so that might be nice. Um, I'm not going to recruit now. In terms of inventory. So this lower level stuff, I might break that down and we can make uh, a new uh, work table. Doing alright for food, doing alright for money now. So let's uh, let's just leave, and we're gonna head, gonna head east into the mountains. Oh, there's another little. Oh, we're gonna have to rest, but I kind of wanna. I wanna see what this caravan of of traders has got. We might not be able to catch them because we're moving so slowly. I'll see. Holding down, holding down shift rather optimistically. I think we're catching up very slowly. They might have something good. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good So sir? he's got a knight sword, team strike. Deals damage to the target, damage increased by 50% for each adjacent ally. Which is meh. But the main thing is it's a better sword. And if we, I mean, if we could do the extra damage, though, it would be good. Even just one nearby ally. There's a pocket hidden inside his waistcoat for keeping one's earnings. Archer's waistcoat. It's not bad. I think it's about the same as what he's wearing at the moment. 180. Do I really want to spend that? That would be down to 200, just under 200. And we've got to pay wages. Maybe I'm going to sell this knife now. Um, I can sell this brush. Okay, well that's, that's a bit more palatable. Let's do that. Alright, we need to camp. But first, we're going to equip some stuff. So what armor is this? Is a, this is a, it's light armor for an archer. Okay, so where is where's some boring? Here he is. It's, uh, it's basically the same. It's slightly better critical hit chance, so we'll put him in that. He's a little bit more stylish anyway. Um, we can upgrade a rags to an outlaw's tabard. Oh, he can't equip light armor. Fair enough. Tina, maybe? Can't equip light armor. Not Mark. Ah, he can. So that's a little bit better than what he's got now. That's fine. Um, and Magnus, we're going to give you the better sword. So it's strength plus one here and slice skills. This is going. This is going to do a lot more damage, hopefully. Well, six to seven, five to six. But if we can, let's equip it first, because yeah, six to seven. But if we can get someone next to him, suddenly he's doing you know eight to ten, something like that. So that'll be good. We're going to keep all this junk just to break down, as I've said. Uh, let's rest. Actually, can I do any proper cooking? I think we need to learn recipes. So I could I can make wolf sausages. Um, I just need to learn it. Yeah. Okay. Let's pay the pay the piper. Um. Having a bit of booze. There we go. Been attacked, level one, three of them. Okay, that's not exactly particularly worrying. They're probably gonna be tired though, is the only thing. That might be a bit a bit bad. We're surprised as well. Uh, we do act first, though. Got this poacher here. Frey, get up. She can. Try 
try not to use our valor points unless we generate temporary ones. Oh, we did. I could have. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so, who's acting next? This one. Alright, well, let's get Magnus in. Might leave him slightly off angle like that. Maybe we can get someone to come stand next to him. Uh, has he got... He hasn't got guard, so... Let's do this. Oh, we do get a temporary one there. Maybe we'll do that just for the extra damage. There we go. Yeah, let's move Tina in. And she'll stand next to... Magnus. Oh. oh, I think I've seen that one. It is quite rough. All right, uh, Rogar. Hang on, the Sentina's turn. Rogar, you can come in and do a backstab. I said backstab. <laughs> no. Let's let's punish them for coming in and attacking us. So boring can get probably not, but we can get another valor point. All right, Rogar, come in and finish him off. Lockpick, another Outlaws Tabard. Got some level ups. A bit annoyed about the use of the raw materials, but level ups is good. Right, Mark. Uh, I just think. This engaging comet, that's just the best one, because they're always going to be doing that. Um, 200 fighters. I would quite like strength, but I don't even have anything in that. I might put it into constitution with the career plans. There we go. So it's quite tanky. Uh, Nigel. We can do... Now let's see what these are. So Berserker, Rampage. Deal three times... Okay, so it attacks three times, I think, with this one. Doing a little less damage each with each shot, but... Uh, critical hit. If he crits, he gains Fury, which increases more damage the next attack. I do quite like that. Executioner, deal five damage to all the units in the target area. Mm. I think we'll go. I think we'll go rampage. It is a medium armor class. It's got high strength, but could, it, maybe the constitution is not too much of a bad idea for him. Let's do that. Oh, that's actually less armor than he's got now. So okay, that's fine. And then, oh, click on Tina. I think, because the spear tends to be a bit ranged. Let's go, let's go for the ending next to an ally. Uh, might increase the movement, actually. That's that. Uh, yeah. I think we. I don't know if we finished our rest. I think maybe we did. Uh, 
Grab some resources. What was that? Iron. Now, I'm not exactly sure how to get into the target area in the mountains, but we'll head due east of the town for now and just see if, see how that feels. I'm hoping there might be some mines or stuff that we can get some more iron from. Can we go up here? No. I don't think there's nothing up there anyway. I think this was the right way. I think we're heading into the mountains now. We'll keep an eye out for that sort of wooded plateau as well, um, where there's supposedly some treasure. Quick look at the map. They are here. I mean, it's the, this video is getting on in length, but let's just do this as they're not that far. Oh, there is actually a, a mine there. So let's. Oh, there's more iron. Ah, ah there's lots of stuff here. That was, you see that little white cloud dispersing? That was the ghost wolves. They, they come out at night and go away in the daytime. It's just morning. Um, oh, we got a guy. I want to mine stuff first. Let's get on with that. I don't have a miner now. So, we, uh, Nigel, we don't need you to be a thief. So we'll make him, we'll make Nigel our miner. Great Growler Grotto. <laughs> That's a name, isn't it? <laughs> Boom. Oh, I missed that one. It's all right, we've got six iron anyway. We're going to do this deposit as well. from that one. That's cool. Uh, I think this prisoner is the only other thing in here. I say prisoner. I don't know who he is. Uh, don't, don't, don't tell anyone I'm here, please. I beg you. You must keep this to yourselves. The citizens of Freyno are out to kill He's me. the killer. They say I've been contaminated by the plague, but it's not true. Maybe we should warn him. He didn't kill them. He was just trying to survive. Let's believe him. Really? Uh, I must go. Thanks for letting me know. All right. Villagers won't be pleased, but hey ho. Okay, we've got another knowledge point. Let's quickly have a look at stuff in here. Uh, these ones I'm less. I mean, the carrying capacity is nice. It's it doesn't apply to everyone though. Just like one per uh, like as a as a whole. So, in the workshop, was there anything we wanted to make? Oh, no, we we can do that now. Um, the anvil. Maybe we should do this, because it'd be quite nice to have... a two-handed sword and a two-handed axe, at the very least. Yeah, I think we'll learn that next time at the blacksmith. Oh, okay. I think we. Oh no! Are they, atta are they attacking the boy? We might need to help him. Look, he was trying to escape. Kill him! P please, no! I am not sick. L let me go! Don't listen to him. He ate his own parents. If we don't kill him now, he will hurt someone else. I, I didn't kill anyone. My parents had already started. We do know they were very thin. I would have met the same end had I not. Mercenaries. The village is offering a reward for you to slaughter him. I am not a murderer. Mercenaries. So, we can choose what we do. Do we attack the cannibal? No. Oh my goodness, this is a big fight. Enemy reinforcements coming. Ooh. Get an iron dagger from it, though, if we need it. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm gonna leave because it's an hour long. This episode, I'm gonna leave it there. When we come back, we're gonna go straight into this fight, uh, for better or worse. So, thanks very much for watching this episode of War Tales. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please do hit the thumbs up button on the video. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game, this playthrough, uh, this particular choice. Do you believe the cannibal? 
Uh, I do. I don't think he's plagued, and I think his parents did starve to death. But let me know what you think. What would you do? And, uh, yeah, if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be great if you could do so. It'd be amazing to have you on board. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time for more War Tales. Bye for now.